Hi everyone, I have a really fun recipe for you today. It's my individual barbecue meatloaves. You make it just like you would a regular meatloaf. Everything comes together in one bowl, but you then put the mixture into six cups of a muffin pan so everybody has their own little meatloaf. And I love this because it's got that wonderful barbecue flavor, which we all love. And we're cheating a little bit and using a bottled barbecue sauce. So you can pick your favorite and you know you're gonna love it and everyone's gonna love it. So I'll show you how you put it together. I've got a pound of ground beef, lean ground beef. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. You can use whatever breadcrumbs you like, homemade, or you could use um, seasoned dry breadcrumbs. I like panko as a nice little crunch. Um, and they're just super versatile. And then one egg. So the breadcrumbs and the egg are going to join in the meat mixture and create a nice tender moist loaf or individual loaves. And then for seasoning, I have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon onion powder, and a teaspoon of dried parsley, which I think go great and just kind of bring out the flavor of the barbecue sauce. So that goes in. And then our secret weapon, I have a quarter cup of barbecue sauce um, store-bought that's just gonna go in there. Well, in my meatloaf recipes, a lot of times I use ketchup, so I kind of got this inspiration from thinking, well, I'm gonna add a lot more smoky flavor by doing the barbecue sauce, and I know everybody's gonna love it. So a little salt and pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and maybe about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of salt. Be careful there because barbecue sauce can tend to be a little bit salty. Now I'm gonna get my hands in there and get this mixture combined. Okay, the mixture is perfectly blended. You don't wanna over mix it. You don't wanna make the meat tough. So just when everything's incorporated, I can see the parsley, little flecks of parsley throughout all of the beef. So I know it's really blended well. So now I'm gonna take this mixture and I've already sprayed just the six cups of my muffin pan with cooking spray. I used an olive oil cooking spray. And I took half of this and I'll divide that into three. That's how I kind of do it with cookie dough too and meatballs. Okay, so here's the other half. Divide it into three. There we go. And just like you were doing a meatloaf, you know, you would be pressing it into your loaf pan. You're gonna press it into these muffin cups. Get it nice and pressed in there. And it'll be level with the top. It's the perfect amount of filling for six cups. One pound of beef with those add-ins is the perfect amount for six individual loaves, which could feed four to six. Depending, you know, somebody could have two, somebody could have one. If you have little ones in the house, they'll probably just want one. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another quarter cup of the store-bought barbecue sauce and brush the surface. So if you see my other recipes, I often brush the top with a mixture of mustard and ketchup, like Dijon mustard and ketchup. And so now I'm going to just enhance the barbecue flavor that's in the meatloaf by putting it on top. And the sugars in the barbecue sauce are gonna caramelize in the oven when these babies bake. So this is the other quarter cup, and then we serve another half cup on the side for dunking, so it's a total of one cup of barbecue sauce. Quarter cup in, quarter cup on, half a cup on the side. Okay, gorgeous already. All right, so the oven's preheated to 375 degrees. I'm gonna start checking these at about 20 to 25 minutes. They could take somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna start checking them early and they'll be ready when they start to pull away from the sides of the pan. So I will show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how I serve them with the potatoes. Hang in there. Here they are at 20 minutes, perfectly done. They're just starting to pull away from the sides of the pan. So I know they're ready and I'm gonna let them cool for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna show you what they look like on a plate with these amazing potatoes. Look how amazing these look with that caramelized barbecue sauce on top. And I like to serve them with these adorable little baked potatoes with bacon and Parmesan cheese. It's the perfect meal. I really love this recipe and I think you're gonna love it too, especially because you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. So you know that that flavor that you already love is already built right in. So I hope you try it and have fun with it and I will see you next time.